Alright, what's up guys? Uh, just gonna do another quick little updated guide video uh, on the ones I've already done before. Uh, there's not like a crazy new amount of information or anything to give here. I'm just gonna be like, you know, tiny little update. Because I did one like a week and a half ago. Uh, some of the stuff then is slightly outdated now. Like, you know, there's some new tech. Eh, not really new tech, right? But like new gear choices, yada yada, that type of thing. And like this won't be long. It'll probably be much shorter than my normal ones because I'm not. I'm not gonna go over like all the stuff I normally do. Like I'm not going over all your perks and choices. None of this has changed. If you want to look at if you if you need information, like if you want to learn more about fighter, like more in depth uh, in terms of perk choices and all that, check one of my older guides. All the information of that still holds up. Especially the one like I put one out like nine days ago. So just check that one out. This is just literally gonna be probably like a five minute video talking about the specific like stats your stats you want to go for and the gear. Okay. So we got a patch recently, and they nerfed a couple things. They nerfed heavy leather legs. Uh, these now have five max health, or not five. Well, they have max health uh, scaling amounts instead of flat strength, which is obviously much, much worse because it's no power. You still have the HP, but there's no strength. If you have really good heavy leather legs, you can still take them. However, they did lower the armor rating a bit, and they uh, increased the movement speed penalty. So these are now minus 12, whereas plate ones are only minus 15. Or plate ones are minus 15, so it's very, very little. It's only about a 1% difference. So if you roll uh, additional move speed, then, you know, it's very good. And also, like I said, like, you know, the armor rating's lower here. Like, these are, like, you know, these are green, but, like, 30 green compared to 39 green here. It's a pretty big difference, like a little over 2% uh, physical damage reduction difference. And you don't really want to lose all that damage reduction. Like, see, like, I've really, like, even in this kit, I'm only, like, 57%. Since my shield out, I'll probably be pushing around 63, 64, somewhere around that range. But anyways, other than that, obviously, you can see my armor is pretty much all the same. I am wearing the Chappelle de Fer, though. This does give Agi. Uh, I don't haven't really played Fighter much, but this is what people are really going for, and I think it's probably correct too. This gives you a ton of stats. I mean, you're not missing out on too much armor. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you are missing out. You're just probably around 15 armor total, which ends up being a decent amount of PDR, and you're missing out a lot of headshot damage reduction. However, this does give, like I said, that three agility is base, which is a ton of stats that you really don't want to give up, even if you're losing out on some armor rating, headshot damage reduction. Also, it gives uh, 10 MR, which is fine. You know, 10 MR is fine. It's effectively 20 if you consider this is minus 10 to plus 10 here. While also having less of a minimum penalty, this is minus 13. These are only minus 7. And then you're just going to kind of want to stack Agi Strength. You see I'm wearing all uh, agility jewelry plus an agility cape. And you see I have 40 agility here, which is a ton. The main thing is you kind of sort of keep this move speed high. You see I'm very, very high here, 97.5% or 293 flat. When I pull up my sword and shield, I will be a little bit slower. It'll be about 37 minus, so I'll be somewhere around, like, I think 92, 93%. I'm not, honestly, I'm not doing the math right now. Uh, I think, actually, no, it'll be, it'll be higher than that. I'm stupid. It'll be, like, I'll be, like, 87%. But, anyways, uh, you're still going through the gloves. These still give strength. These are still your best gloves. Uh, chest piece, dark plate, once again, uh, better move speed, uh, higher MR, 55 MR compared to dark plate or to find curious because it does give negative. And then, other than that, not much else has really changed. Uh, that's pretty much all you kind of just want to you really want to focus agility and strength uh, with agility as your main set It's kind of going back to how it was during the first wipe where agility fighter is your best bet However, your PDR is going to be a bit lower than normal like normally you could push around 70% with this build which in theory You still can I don't have armor rating rolls on a lot of this like a lot of this stuff has like at least one useless roll like Armor pins not useless could be better uh, Moose speed. This is really good these spell casting's dead, uh, physical healing's dead, magical power dead. Uh, this is really good. I mean, memory cap, physical damage bonus, dead stats, and then uh, buff duration and only 0.5 PDR. So I could have this gear could be way better. If I had armor rating and everything, I would still be pushing around 70% PDR, which would be very, very good, while also having a ton of agility and a ton of strength. And the shield you're going to go for is round shield. The reason being, heater shield. I don't know what this is. I'm going to be honest with you. This is, I might go off on a little tangent. They change the shields, so almost every shield has the same armor rating. It's like, Heater has like one or two more points of armor rating than Round Shield, while also having more movement speed penalty, and Buckler is only very slightly less than Round Shield. They're all like within the same like 10 point range, which is just the dumbest thing ever, because the only thing, the only reason you would choose, the only reason you're going to pick a shield now is based on impact power or like the shape of the shield for blocking. So, route, excuse me, Round Shield is almost always your best choice to go for. It's just, you know, there's less move speed penalty, uh, basically the same armor rating. It's a bit different to block with, but as long as you're, like, you know, use it, you'll get used to it. And then for stat prio, you, like, you see very clearly what I'm going for. Uh, you want to look for plus all, then plus agility. Uh, something like this rear is very good. These gloves are very good. If you can't get plus all, you could also just go for double stat rolls, like three strength, three agility here, or, like, two agility, uh, 
two strength here that's also very good your stats overall will be a little bit lower if you don't have a bunch of plus all however it's won't be like a crazy difference it, it'll it'll be fine like if you get your stats somewhere around this range it'd be pretty insane whenever i pull my sword and shield out i will have a bit higher i'll be 39 strength 42 agility which is a crazy amount if you're anywhere around that you're you're fine like it's it's not going to change anything it's you know it, it's still good and then uh fighter like fighter isn't bad right now however it's not amazing you do have to play very carefully obviously the things that uh are bad for you are still bad uh fighting war Maw straight up is still scary if you can help block them then you can counter them however if a barb knows what he's doing it's very easy to counter that also you have to get into range and do it to begin with and if you're wondering what hilt blocking is, literally, it just, whenever they start up their swing, you just shove your shield into them, and the hilt of their uh, hammer will hit your shield, and it'll cancel their attack, but it won't break your guard like a normal war maul hit would. Uh, if you're, like, one, I'm, I don't have a video of showing this, but it's very easy. It's very easy to do if you're in range, is what I'll say, if they don't know what they're doing. Very, very easy to do. Uh, other than that, uh, I think Falchion's your best choice of sword. I think I mentioned this before in a video, but I don't like arming swords anymore. I think the damage is way too low. So I would never recommend using Arming Sword anymore. I would almost always recommend using Falchion. Even Viking Sword, I would go over Arming Sword. Like, I, I think Viking Sword's not the worst. Arming Sword just feels so bad. It feels so incredibly weak. And other than that, uh, there's not really much to go on. Uh, one thing that's very good that most people don't do is bring Explosive Bottles. Explosive Bottles are fantastic. These are really good against Buff Ball because you can, if they're trying to push you through a door, you throw it on the ground. If they run through, they get uh, caught on the... Like if they're especially if they're invis pushing they run through they hit the fire breaks the invis you see them coming or if a barb's running through a door he can run through the uh, molotovs really easily because he doesn't take that much damage from them however a cleric a bard a wizard whatever it may be they can't push through as easily because they're going to take much much more damage from them due to lower mr lower hp pool etc so it's really great to have these these are just amazing tool to use and then other than that not really much else to change crossbow still you're always your go-to secondary uh, still going to play this roughly the same way. The one thing to keep in mind when you're playing this build like this is your PDR will be a bit lower. Unless, you, like I said, you have crazy armor rating rolls and everything. Your PDR will be a bit lower. So you do have to play around that. You can't just run at people like face first and tank every king, everything. Everything like arrows and stuff like that. So if you play around that, should be fine. I mean, I, I haven't honestly, I haven't even played this build yet. I'm going to, and I know it's going to work because I, I mean, you know, I know, I know the class, I know my stats, I know I can make this build work relatively easy, but you know, just play it, see how it feels, see if you like it. I think you could still go strength stacking PDR and it'll be fine. However, I do think you want a bit of agi. Uh, a lot of having a lot of agi lets you kite around barbs, kite around wizards, uh, lets you like, you know, lets you dodge rather than just like face tank everything. But yeah, I uh, just wanted to up, do a little updated guide to uh, give you guys some new information that's kind of come to light about this. I think this is probably the best way to play it right now. But like I said, I haven't really tried it out, but I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure this. I'm sure this will be very, very good. But yeah, with that, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.